Let's talk data. The Long Island market update for Syosset and Plainview. That's the topic of my next video. Did the actual Long Island real estate market crash since the pandemic? That was the topic of a video I made about five months ago. You'll see the link down in the description below. Did it actually crash? Well, we're five months later. Let's check the numbers. I'm going to be reviewing the market report for Plainview and Sayasid, Long Island. If you would like the market report discussed for your town or any other specific town on Long Island, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'd be more than happy to make a video about that in the future. For those of you who are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a realtor with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Syosset, Long Island. Please, if you like the channel, definitely give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Now, let's talk numbers. Yes, transactions. Actually, the houses that have sold in Plainview and Syosset and also the median value of those particular properties. Let's start with Plainview, Long Island. Back in September of 2018, the median sale price was $588,000. All the way to September 2019, we jumped to 615 k September of 2020, we were down to 612500 Let's go August to August. August of 2020, $612,250 to August of this year, which is actually August of the previous year, 2019, 615,000, 0.4% change in the actual um, median sale price. Not a significant drop. So when we talk about right now, the inventory is very low. Let's look at the numbers where actual transactions or sold properties. If you look at the chart that I have up here right now, you can see back in 2018, September of 2018, we had 346 houses that actually sold or closed. And in uh, September 2019, we had 318 houses. And today, or September, July of 2020, 248. If we go August to August, August of 2020, 248 houses. The prior year, August of 2019, we had a three, 328 houses. That's a negative 24.4% decrease. Why is that? Well, speculation is that a lot of people just don't want to sell right now because they're a little, um, the unknowns about COVID-19. Uh, so if you're looking to sell your property, they're definitely selling. As you can see, the numbers are pretty much where they were last year. It's just the volume that's causing this uh, really strong seller's market. Let's talk Syosset right now. Syosset, the median price for houses, and this is Syosset School District only. The Plainview uh, properties I mentioned were only for Plainview School Districts as well. If you're interested in getting a particular town, you want the market report for a particular town or your particular property, definitely just drop me an email, uh, send me a text, and I'll be more than happy to get that right out to you. For September of 2018 in Syosset, 735K was the median value. September of 2019, 740K. And September, uh, July of 2020 was 740K, not much of a change, if any. If we go August to August, August 2020 to 2019, we had 742,500 in um, the current year that we're in now. Last year, it was 738,000. That's only a 0.6% uh, change in value. Not much of a decrease. Prices seem to be holding, as you can see in the chart, not much of a decrease in the actual median prices. But let's compare the data now for the actual number of transactions that took place. And that's where we see this, uh, a difference in the actual units that have sold. If we go September of 2018, you had about 253 units. September of 2019, you have about 250 year to year, pretty similar. But July of 2020, it drops to 224 units that actually closed. If you go August to August, 224 units in the current year we're in now. If you go to August of 2019, we had 241 units. So we're, we're about 7.1% less in the amount of units or transactions that actually went down in the town of Syosset. Significantly more in Plainview, 
uh, but still a negative um, number in the Syosset number of units that have actually closed. I hope this information was helpful. Again, this is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.